and welcome to the first video in the 12 days of creativity. This is my inky Christmas countdown. So today's video I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for drawing holly, the most festive of all the botanicals. So my very basic holly leaf starts off as a straight line like this and then I start about here which I guess is maybe like a quarter of the way up and I'm going to do three sort of scoopy lines that's a bad explanation but there's one two and three to the top point i do the same on the other side and that's your very basic holly leaf now you can do them with more scoopy lines so here we go one two three four and you get what i guess would be a more variated variated kind of holly leaf that's probably the wrong botanical term but there you go, so it's, it's a little bit more pointy. Uh, and then I'll do a very little one here. So that's your very basic holly leaf. Now what I would do is grab a fine liner pen and go over these outlines. So when you're drawing in pencil, you don't need to worry too much because you are going to erase those pencil lines after you've done the inking. So that's why I tend to be a bit messier when I work with pencil. And then when you add the ink, that's the time to get a little bit more detailed and a little bit more careful. So I'm using a 0.3 to do this outline. And now I'm gonna switch out for a 0.2 and add some details. It's always better to use the heavier pen on the bolder lines that are the outside and save your finer ones for the littler details inside. Now I'm gonna add a center vein and some bits like this. I'm gonna do just lines on this side for this leaf. I'm gonna do lines on both sides for this one. And then for this one, I'm going to do something different. I'm just going to do a line from the top, then a few dots, and then a line to the bottom. And some little dots here. Now, once this ink's dry, I'm going to erase the, erase? Yeah, erase the graphite pencil underneath, which will tidy up a bit. But once you get sort of a bit more confident, you could even just go straight to ink and do things a bit like this. be a bit more free and easy, free and breezy with your holly leaves. Now if you want to add berries, I would do, let's do it in pencil, a sprig of holly leaves and then the berries in the middle. So let's do, here's your sprig. I like three berries. I just think it's quite, not symmetrical because obviously three isn't, but it's a nice, it's a nice number. Two can look odd, four looks too much, three is perfect. So I draw one circle, then I draw a circle almost underneath it, kind of just that much. And then this one is underneath the pair of them, if that makes sense. So you don't do three circles like this, they are overlapping. Now I'm gonna continue the vein up to the top and draw a holly leaf up here. And let's do one here. So where they go underneath, and you just kind of miss that bit out. Um, so you know that that's going to be like that underneath there, but you're not going to see it because it's underneath this leaf. The joy of working in pencil is you can work all this stuff out and then erase it later. We'll add one little one on here. There we go. Now I'm going to grab my pen and just go over it. Add this little holly leaf to the back. So again, I might, I might just do this to give the idea of that leaf behind there, but you don't need to draw the whole thing. Same with this one. And oh, we'll do the little stalk, might do the little sort of nubbly bit there. 
and let's add some details. I'm going to keep this one quite simple. And you can do like a little pointy bit in here. I think that just makes it look extra spiky. Quite nice for Holly. So we're going to leave that one to dry. And I'm going to erase the pencil from these guys up here. So just if your eraser is like mine and a bit grubby, rub it on a blank sheet of paper. Get all that graphite off. Check the ink is dry. This definitely is, but the way to check is to just roll your hand like this. And if no ink is on your hand when you roll it off, then it's dry. I'm gonna erase this graphite. And then you've got your nice holly leaves. And we'll also do our little sprig down here. Nice and dry. There you go. So that's some really quick tips and tricks for drawing holly leaves. And I've got another how-to coming up in a few days for how to make a really pretty holly wreath. Right, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and have fun drawing some festive holly.